Good morning, dear children. Today we are here to revise Chapter Six of GSC. The name of the chapter is Put Dad Build the Body. Put Dad Build the Body. Put Dad Build the Body. We will revise this chapter. So, my dear students, all of you get ready with the book and notebook along with the rough or division copy for revising this chapter. First of all, we will revise exercise A. Exercise A is fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Open your book and change chapter 6 exercise. Fill in the blanks. First question. What is the question? Dads and fats are energy giving foods. Dads and fats are energy giving food. So, what will be the answer for this first question? Carbohydrates. 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 What is the answer for this question? Proteins. P R O T E I N S. P R O T E I N S. P R O T E I N S. Proteins are body. Sorry. Proteins are body building foods. Proteins are Body building foods. What is the spelling of proteins? P R O T E I N S. P R O T E I N S. Proteins are body building foods. Now, for the question number three, vitamins and dash are protective foods. Vitamins and dash are protective foods. So, what is the answer for this? Vitamins and minerals are protective foods. Vitamins and minerals are protective foods. Vitamins and minerals are protective foods. What is the spelling of protective? Sorry, what is the spelling of minerals? M I N E R A L S. Minerals. M I N E. What is the question? Water helps us in making food dash. And the answer is soluble. S O L U B L E. S O L U B L E. Whenever you are sitting my decision, please speak along with me. So you can learn now itself. What is the answer for the fourth question? Water helps us in Making food soluble. Now, question number five. When food is exposed to air and moisture, dust begin to grow on it. What is the question? When food is exposed to air and moisture, dust begin to grow on it. And the answer is germs. G E R M S. G E R M S. Jumps begin to grow on it. Jumps begin to grow on it. G E R M S. When food is exposed to air and moisture, jumps begin to grow on 
and the spelling is G E R N S. Benda, benda, uh, benda. Food is exposed to air and moisture. Germs begin to grow on it. Okay, this is the answer for the first exercise. I hope all of you have revised well this. Revised, no? Now we will revise exercise B of this chapter. Exercise B of this chapter. Tick the right answer. Exercise B is tick the right answer. Tick the right answer. First question of this is. Potatoes are rich in gas. Potatoes are rich in gas. We have three options: carbohydrates, proteins, fats. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats. Now we have to tick one correct answer, and the first one is uh, sorry. The answer for the first question is first option is correct: carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is the answer for the first question. Potatoes are rich in gas, so the answer is carbohydrates. Potatoes are rich in carbohydrates, so the first option is correct here, yes? and the answer is potatoes are rich in carbohydrates. In the question paper, in the book it is given like that. Tick the right. Question paper. It will be written as choose the correct option, and you have to write the answer in the answer sheet. Don't put a tick mark. What you have to do? You have to write the answer. Only answer for this question in the examination. If the question come like this, okay. Now question number two. A complete food is dash. A complete food is dash. We have three options: chapatis, rice, milk. What are the options? Chapatis, rice, milk. And the last option is correct. Milk is the correct answer. Milk is the correct answer for this question. So a complete food is milk. A complete food is milk. Okay. Question number three. Young children need. Young children need more gas. We have three options: carbohydrates, proteins, fats. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And which one is the correct here? Option two is correct. And the answer is proteins. Young children need more proteins. Young children need more proteins. Young children need more proteins. Clear? What is the answer for the third question? Option second option is correct. Young children need more proteins. Okay. Now question number four. Question number four is vegetables and fresh fruits are good sources of gas. What is the question? Vegetable and fresh fruits are good sources of gas. We have three options here: proteins, vitamins and minerals, fats. Proteins, vitamins and minerals, and fats. And the second option is correct: vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. So. Elimination of waste, and 
the last option is correct here helps elimination of waste helps elimination of waste so this last option is correct here surface helps as helps as helps helps as or helps in elimination of waste helps in elimination of
What is the main function of protein? Proteins are essential for building strong bones and muscles. Water. Water helps us in making food soluble. Water helps us in making food soluble. So many functions are there. Out of them only one we have to write. So we are writing one here. Water helps us in making food food soluble you have to speak along with me that's why i am speaking slowly next vitamins and minerals what is the function of that they protect us from diseases infections and promote our health they protect us from diseases infections and promote our health okay now the last one rafaze what is the function of rafaze rafaze helps in elimination of waste rafaze helps in elimination of waste clear now we will revise the last exercise of this chapter answer the following you have noted it in the notebook no so please open the notebook and start revising first question why do we need food answer is food gives energy to our body therefore we need food why do we need food food gives energy to our body therefore we need food question number 2 name the different nutrients of the food we have to name the different nutrients of the food answer is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals are the different nutrients of food once again we will revise carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals are the different nutrients of the food question number 3 why is it necessary for us to drink a lot of water why is it necessary for us to drink a lot of water answer is because water helps us in making food soluble digestible and absorbable Whenever you are sitting, my dear students, please speak along with me. Once again, we will revise it. Why is it necessary for us to drink a lot of water? Because water helps us in making food soluble, digestible, and absorbable. Question number four: What is a balanced diet? Let's revise the answer for this. A diet that contains all the nutrients in the right amount is called balanced diet. What is the answer? A diet that contains all the nutrients in the right amount is called the balanced diet. Question number five. Why is junk food not good for health? Let's revise the answer for this. You have to speak along with me. Okay? Don't simply hear. When you speak, no, you will learn it. Why is junk food not good for health? Answer is because it contains a lot of fat and carbohydrates, which can make us gain extra weight. what is the answer because it contains a lot of fat and carbohydrates which can make us gain extra weight question number 6 why should we do exercise regularly what is the question why should we do exercise regularly and the answer is because regular exercise keeps us fresh and active what is the answer because regular exercise keeps us fresh and active 
Question number seven. Why do we need to preserve? Why do we need to preserve? Why do we need to preserve the food? What is the question? Question is. What is the answer? Because foods will eventually spoil if not preserved. Means if we do not preserve the food, food will get spoiled. So we need to preserve. So what will be the answer? Because foods will eventually spoil if not preserved. Okay. This is the revision for the exercise. Chapter 6. Now I will give you homework. What is the homework? Kindly note it down. Write and learn. Write and learn. Chapter 6 completely. Write and learn. Chapter 6. All exercise. How many times you have to write? Only one time. Only one time. No need of writing 10 times, 15 times. Just write it and learn it. Okay, this is your homework. Tomorrow we will meet with the next chapter. Revise it and we get thorough with this chapter. Thank you class.